Singapore conglomerate Capital Corp and offshore oil rig builder Semcorp Marine have agreed to talk about combining forces. They want to look at merging Capital's offshore and marine business with Semcorp Marine. Well, Capital is one of the world's leading oil rig builders. Semcorp Marine is a smaller rival. Both have been hit hard by a prolonged drop in oil prices and an oversupply of rigs. And they say the talks could take months, but a potential combination would create a stronger player to capitalize on growing opportunities in the offshore and marine, renewable and clean energy sectors. Both count Singapore state investor Tomasic as their biggest shareholder. Earlier this year, Keppel said it planned to exit the rig business and to move towards clean energy. Semcorp Marine has also announced a rights issue to raise about 1.5 billion Singapore dollars to cope with prolonged impact from COVID-19. It was demerged from its parents, Semcorp Industries, last year and recapitalized to survive the onslaught of the oil slump. Well, for more, we're joined by David Court from The Smart Investor. Now, David, uh, what do you think of the efforts to explore a potential merger and how much do you think this merger is worth? Well, I think it was inevitable, Elizabeth, because, um, I mean, both Semcor Marine and also the offshore and marine sector of uh, uh, Keppel have been loss-making. And when you look at this industry, uh, you have to begin to wonder why it is loss-making. And I think primarily it is because uh, both parties have been trying to eat into each other's dinners and they've been competing for the same projects and undercutting each other. And as a result of that, they both ended up loss-making. In the case of Semcor Marine, I mean, the last four, four years has been loss-making. So I think a merger makes an awful lot of sense. But as far as the valuation is concerned, uh, that is going to be a bit, bit more difficult to uh, determine. But... I should think it's going to be north of two and a half billion for this combined ent entity uh, uh, as, as soon as they can get rid of uh, all their loss making businesses. then I think uh, the valuation will become a bit more clearer. Well, David, if this merger goes through, uh, what would be the impact on shareholders for both sides? I don't think it's so much if as when, because I, I think uh, a lot has probably been done uh, in the background. I think these two companies have already been discussing uh, not only with each other, but prob probably also with uh, one of their big shareholders, Temasek, and also the unions about how they're going to be able to uh, put together these two entities in order to come up with something a bit stronger. So I don't think it's a case of if, I think it's going to be a case of when it is going to happen, Elizabeth. Well, uh, also, Sam Marine is also raising $1.5 billion from a rights issue. That's about a year after its last. So should investors subscribe? <laughs> That's kind of a tough one. I mean, whenever you have a rights issue, you have to ask yourself, what is the money going to be used for? Uh, if, if the money is going to be used for something frivolous, then I would say, no, don't take up the rights issue. But I think in this particular case, uh, the money is going to be put to some very good use. And I think in the case of Semcor Marine, it was only about sort of three or four years ago, it had about, what, $1.3 billion in cash. I mean, today it's got about $700 million in cash. So I think it needs to beef up its balance sheet. And I think the money will be, be could put to good use. I mean, put yourself in the position of a, um, a customer of uh, Semcor Marine or this new entity. You want to know that this company is financially sound before you're going to give it projects to do. And I think uh, uh, the rights issue is a good idea. And uh, if I was a shareholder in Semcor Marine, I would certainly be putting some money behind that rights issue. Well, David, also, I want to get uh, your opinion. Uh, what should investors do? Are we going to look at uh, buying or selling tomorrow when the trading resumes? Okay, let me have a look at my crystal ball. I think what is going to be happening in both these companies is that the, in the case of Keppel, they're going to be jettisoning uh, their loss-making business. They're going to be getting rid of a loss-making business. So in the case of Keppel, I think it is a, a huge positive. I think in the case of Semco Marine, people are going to factor in this rights issue. Uh, and I think they're going to uh, look forward and say, is this company or this new entity going to be stronger than uh, it was last year? And the answer is yes. So I think there is going to be a lot of positive reaction to uh, this merger news. All right. Thanks so much. David Kaur from The Smart Investor.